Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to yet another day in my life. Now I have a lot of these videos coming up soon because I slash we have been doing so much here on what I lovingly refer to as our little homestead in the city. I'm trying to find the perfect combination of being productive yet staying relaxed because side note, I have started getting some painful contractions. We really feel like we're in the final countdown. So hopefully I can get all these videos up of everything that we've been up to. If you want to watch more of these videos, I will link my playlist of these day in my life videos. I have a ton of them. And side note, I get a lot of questions about my food and stuff. And I have a dedicated food playlist as well. So I'm 38 weeks on Monday. That has nothing to do with anything, but everything to do with this video. So with that being said, let's hop right in. All right, so kind of random. Although I always say that and I'm like, aren't these videos just like nothing but randomness? But there I am crouching down, laying out my yoga mat um, because I did end up doing some stretches while I watched one of my favorite Instagrammers videos, Homestead and Chill. And then I also had a couple of essential oils diffusing in my Aria diffuser. Stress Away and Tangerine are like one of my favorite combos. I have a lot of favorite combos, but I really like this mix. exciting times guys except i can't remember sometimes how i divvy up my footage so maybe you already saw this i don't think so though my basil plant on my tower garden got huge and on this day the whole plant actually like when i was pruning it broke off so i just took the whole plant downstairs to put in a mason jar till i could make some pesto so that was exciting and then dan i mentioned this in a video or two ago that we wanted to hang another plant above our shower and actually it's kind of crazy because looking at this this plant has already grown so i guess it's doing well <laughs> in the bathroom so dan took one of these hooks and drilled it into the ceiling right above where our little glass wall is i want the vines to grow down so like the glass is just covered in like greenery i want to feel like i'm living in a jungle okay guys <laughs> so or like i'm bathing in a jungle um, he ended up having to adjust our macrame a little bit. So he took some extra string that we had and kind of tied the top down so it was shorter because the space between the ceiling and the glass wasn't like very big. After that, I made my way downstairs and I started to make this pesto. Um, I was still playing Homestead and Chills videos on my iPad at this point. Um, and this recipe I basically got from Pinterest. I, I tell you guys, I don't really follow recipes to a T, but like pretty much most of my cooking inspiration comes from Pinterest. I think this recipe is pinned. It's like a macadamia nut pesto. Dan and I love macadamia nuts and we buy them from Costco. So we decided to make this recipe up. So once we got all of the basil leaves into our little food processor, I took a handful of macadamia nuts, Threw that into the mix, Dan grated some Parmesan cheese that we also picked up at Costco. And then I threw that into the food processor as well. Then I took a lemon and I pressed the juice out. By the way, I've been getting a lot of questions about this lemon press. Yes, obviously it's new. It's amazing. I will have it linked down below. If you go on my blog, you can actually kind of shop the different rooms in my house. Um, all of the things that I get questions on, I have linked there. So this is obviously linked under the kitchen tab. Then I added the organic extra virgin olive oil to the mix as well. Next up, we crushed a couple of cloves of garlic. And then we processed that baby up. I did this pulsing pattern because I didn't want to fully blend. I was a little nervous. And as I went, I would kind of like scrape down the sides to make sure that it was all fully blended. I did realize at this point I didn't have any salt in there. So I added some pink Himalayan salt to the mix as well. That's like my saying, huh? To the mix. Anyways, this idea was given to us from one of you guys, and we've been doing it with everything now. 
We knew we wouldn't eat all this right away and we really didn't want to. And so in the spirit of all the freezer cooking that we have been doing, this was kind of part of that. We made the pesto, processed it. I felt so proud that like I grew a plant from seed to plant and then actually processed it and then got it like like done. So we put it in these ice cube trays and froze the tray. And then when the tray was frozen, we popped the pesto cubes out into a Ziploc baggie. Like I said, we've been doing this with all kinds of sauces and just things we want to freeze in small portions. Um, and I've eaten a few of those cubes now and it was amazing. Now, I don't remember who it was, but someone on my Instagram feed was drinking a, like they call it like a chocolate covered strawberry smoothie. And I was like, uh, what the heck? That sounds amazing. So Dan literally went out and picked me up these organic strawberries. So I poured that into the blender cup, some MCT oil, a little bit of vanilla extract. Some of this amazing greens green superfood powder which is just a bunch of greens with cacao powder so it's chocolate flavored then i threw in some of these cacao nibs as well as a handful of hemp hearts i love adding hemp to like anything and everything then i added another scoop of just pure cacao powder trying to get all that chocolatey goodness and then I added a little bit of vanilla almond milk, as well as a spoonful of pure, raw, unfiltered, organic honey. I've learned recently that there's apparently a huge difference between that and just like runny, regular honey. Um, so that's why I list all those things. So I blended it up. Then I added a little bit more water because it wasn't blending well enough, but also I don't know if I've told you guys this. I've started adding my collagen powder about halfway through the smoothie being done because I noticed that if you add it in the beginning, when, and it's not just this brand, it's like every brand I've tried. If you add it in the beginning before you blend your drink, it'll like stick to the side, kind of like concrete. It'll get all jelly. So blending it first and then scooping the collagen into the center of the smoothie for me has allowed for a more even smooth blend without any like globs of collagen. <laughs> so then I got a lot of questions about this in a video recently. I kind of thought everybody knew about this, but it makes sense that they didn't because I at one point didn't know about this either. But people were like, are you putting ice cubes in your plants? Yes, that is what I'm doing. I call this the lazy girls hack to watering. There might be other even lazier ways. I don't know. This is just a trick that I think allows the water to slowly, obviously melt and hydrate the soil. Um, and it's great if you're not that great about watering your plants like I am sometimes not, because when you pour water directly over it, it can sometimes pour straight through the soil and fall out of your pots or you have to like take them off the macrames. But this makes it so that there's no drippage really ever. Now, I don't know if the extreme cold from the ice is doing anything to shock my plants or if it's bad for it. I don't think so. I haven't noticed anything like crazy or bad from like using the ice, um, but just throwing that out there because like my mom was asking me that too and I didn't have an answer for her. And I've actually been doing this a lot more lately. I'm trying to like really healthify. That's definitely not a word, but make my plants a little healthier before the baby comes. Really random, but hey. There's a cute shot of some of the cards that we received over Christmas and Zoe hanging out in what I lovingly refer to as her cha-cha shirt by the fire. The dogs are both obsessed with the fire, if I haven't told you that already. And Bowser was over chilling in his corner next to the couch. This is like his favorite corner to chill near. <laughs> So then I brought my ice cubes upstairs, can't forget about those upstairs plants, and I threw a couple in my snake plant, and then I put the ice in the plants that hang next to our tower garden and above our little like bookshelf, and I don't know why I'm describing all this to you. I am planning, by the way, on doing a new home tour video at some point soon because I've been getting so many questions about doing a home tour and I'm like, I've done a home tour, but then I guess looking around, I'm like, oh, a lot has changed in the last two years. So I will do one at some point. 
Also, I am on a step ladder, but really the also is that I am in fact wearing crop top. <laughs> you guys know I'm all about letting my belly hang out at home and I'm at home a lot. Um, it just feels good, feels free. So I wore my sweats and my crop top and um, you know, that was my plant watering outfit, I guess, <laughs> or my, just my outfit of the day. I don't know why I'm calling it my plant watering outfit. Speaking of plants though, Dan has been going to Home Depot so much because you'll see it soon in an upcoming video, but the room in the back of our house is literally so close to being done and he's done such an incredible job. It's actually mind blowing to me. Anyways, though, when he went there, I had just watched a video from Homestead and Chill about aloe plants, and I was like, Dan, I really want an aloe plant. Will you get me one when you're at Home Depot? And so he did. He, When he went back out for like his third trip of the day, he bought me an aloe plant. So pretty exciting times. I have not used it yet, although I think one of the leaves is like begging to be cut and used because it's kind of starting to fall over. But anyways, that was exciting. I also did a little pruning of my tower garden and just cleaning and care of. So I replaced a couple of plants. And so what you're looking at is the root system of one of the plants that I ripped out. And I just thought that was interesting and I'd show you because how crazy is it that that came from a seed? And then Dan helps me by filling up the water tank for the tower garden every few weeks. So he did that and he added the different minerals to the water, checked the pH, all that jazz. Then I made my way downstairs to brew myself a cup of this wellness tea that I picked up from my midwife's office. It's got things that are just, you know, good for delivering a baby, supposedly. Red raspberry leaf, alfalfa, nettle, and I try to drink it every single day in preparation for labor. Don't know if it'll really help, but I'm down to stack every card in my deck that I can. So that is it for today's video, guys. I hope that you liked it. Like I said, I hopefully have a bunch more videos coming. It really just depends on when I go into labor and what I can get up. If I go as long as I think I'm gonna go, I probably still have like another three to four weeks. I really wanna share what we've been up to and just all of the stuff, but we will see. Whenever God brings this baby into the world is gonna be the perfect time. So we're trying to just like stay chill and ride with that. On another note, if you're still listening to me blabber, do not forget to check the info box because once again, I'm doing a giveaway in today's video like I do every video. If you're new to my channel, it's because it's a way for me to say thank you to you guys for all of the support that you give me here on YouTube and all over the internet. I get so much stuff sent to me. I donate some of it. I give some to family and friends and I give some to you guys, like I said, as a way to say thanks. So all of the rules will be down there. Everything will be pretty much in the info box and I will hopefully see you back here soon with another new video. All right, bye guys.